For the pastry, you'll need 175 grams of plain flour and 75 grams of cold butter. Simply whisk together in the processor or rub in by hand. Add 25 grams of icing sugar and my special addition, the grated zest of an orange. No need to think about water, whether it's the right consistency. I find an egg is just about right. There really is no need to be scared of making pastry. This sweet pastry is foolproof. It works every time, as long as you've measured carefully. Into the fridge until it's firmed up a bit. After 10 minutes, the sweet orange pastry is firm and ready to roll. I like nice, thinly rolled pastry. And you can see the flecks of orange which give it its flavour. And then take the cutter. The cutter wants to be bigger than the diameter of the tart tin, so that you've got lots of room for filling. I like using a fluted cutter for a smart finish. There's no need to grease the tin with pastry if you have over half fat to flour, which I have. So take a fork and just prick the base. Otherwise, if you don't prick them, they'll rise up in a bump. For a no-fuss filling, use bought mincemeat and to make it more special, add 100 grams of chopped dried apricots. For these, I'm not putting a traditional layer of pastry on top, I'm putting marzipan instead. Grate 125 grams of chilled marzipan and sprinkle a little over each one. And it will melt down and become a little bit brown on top. It'll just add to the recipe. For a crisp base, slide onto a preheated baking sheet and cook at 180 fan for about 15 minutes. Oh, that's a bit of all right. They just look different and most tempting. There we are, 12 beautiful mince pies. And you want to see underneath? Lovely and crisp right through. And then it's Christmas, a dusting of icing sugar. There are times when I burn the corner of a cake, yes, believe it or not, a little dusting will cover up things. Just needs a bunch of holly and it's Christmas. <laughs>